This is a 2014 Skeeter FX20. 20 foot, 2 inches in length. Has twin 10 foot talons. The Yamaha Show 250. Uh, the engine oil has best been done. Lower unit oil has also been replaced. Looking at the right hand side, it's got the tough coating on the trailer, a boarding step, Fulton jack, does have the two tone bottom, which is an option. Hamby's keel protector, spare tire, comes with the Humminbird. Onyx 10 at the front. This is a combo unit to use as 2D sonar. He's using the universal sonar out of the 101 Fortrex here. Also has 360 imaging that can produce side imaging for the front unit with the Onyx. Single console. At the console we have another Onyx 10. Another Onyx 10 Humminbird. This one is a side imaging. Both of them are cross touch. You can touch screen. Or you can use buttons. Seating. Zoom in here for colors. Take a quick down look down the right hand side. This is the right hand side, the hull, the top cap, there's the talons, the show, Atlas, 10 inch jack plate, hydraulic jack plate, is standard with it. close up of the left hand side. See the colors? There are a couple minor scratches. Nothing that a good buff job wouldn't take out. Do you have storage box up here? I kept a couple set of chocks and a tire wrench there and a little jack just in case I had uh, trouble on the road and never had to use it. Good perspective of the seating. prop. I am giving you a brand new propeller. 25 the show Yamaha 25T1. Look inside. Seat left hand side to the console. FX20 features tool storage system. You have a glove box here. Talon remote, the drain plugs for the live wells, overflows, and the coolers, rod storage system. Going to have a tackle storage in here. Got the organizers. You can pull these out if you want the big boxes or not use it at all. Right hand side, right hand side I do have the butt seat, brand new, never been used. That is the, the pole brand new for the fishing chair. This is the extension rod for the butt seat, 
This is the back navigation light. It has an LED front light. Come back here. You have your tackle storage system. I'm giving you the new box out of my new FX. Your fuse. They're all there. That's all brand new. That that box, I'll just keep my old one. It's already got my hooks and everything in it. The fishing chair has never been used. It was up on the shelf too. I don't use it. There's the front storage box. Nice white bright boxes make it easy to look into. Overview of the front deck. One of the things you'll notice is the Skeeter has an aluminum knee brace system. That gives you superior advantage because I bet you can't do this in a lot of boats. Those roto molded boxes will withstand the weight. Don't try that in other brands with fiberglass boxes. Rod storage system on the left hand side for your passenger. In floor cooler, or I used it for prop storage. I actually laid a rubber mat in there, and that's why it's a little discolored because I had a rubber mat that held up to. And I used this as a trash bin and I kept my extra prop in there. Skeeter does have their measuring board right here. Handy. Console. You've got your trim up and down. Your jack plate up and down over here does have tilt steering. Does have tilt steering. You push this and you will get tilt. Left hand gauge, got your trim up and down water pressure. That is your battery voltage and your fuel level. Look underneath the console, hot foot. Come back up, we'll turn it on. You have your multifunction gauge here with your RPMs. Battery voltage, we're going to show you the engine hours. Engine hours is 216.4 at this time. Your right hand console, you've got your power, your horn, your lights, your courtesy lights, builds, starboard fills, port fill. Port research, starboard research, aerator timer, and your fuel left or right, and this will do your gauge and your key switch. This is your jack plate indicator, gear shifter, charger cord is right here, your live well drains open and closed. Those both work there. Cup holder, seat, center seat with a cooler underneath, and that baby holds ice. This pad can be taken off, it hasn't been used. Right and left live wells. They do have the Oxymax in there. There's some crawfish pieces I haven't been able to get out. They have been used, but the Oxymax is there. You got uh, right side storage with a cargo net that I put in there. Your fuel pump there is. It does have blower system that run through all of them. And this is the other side storage. You have your rear cargo, you got these containers, storage containers, four batteries, that's a Minn Kota MKPC, that's a precision charge, there's your other storage, and this is the blower, you can hear the blower system, you can see my shoes fell off. There's your storage system that's blowing air through all your systems.
You also have your Oxymax on and off here. This is master power disconnect and two circuit breakers. Overview of the back deck with all the compartment lids open. Or one of them just falls down on me. You can hear the blower. It blows out right there. Also, one talent remote is fixed mounted here. Another strap will come with it. And you will get a remote control. Plus, you come pick it up in Missouri, I'll take you out for a half day on the water, teach you how to use the hummingbirds, and the, get familiar with the boat. One thing with the Minn Kota Talon, you can deploy it from the unit here, or raise it. There's three different modes that are built in. That is rough water mode, that is soft bottom, and this is standard mode. Standard mode drives drives down, you'll hear it, it'll pause, drive again, drive again. That is standard thing. In rough water, it's going to drive and it's going to repeat that pattern. In soft bottom, it's just going to drive down and hit and stop. So more built-in features. These are 10 footers. You can also use the remote. Double tap it. And that's all you got to do. Double tap. Both spikes will go down. Single tap. Both spikes will retract. Thank you for checking out the 2014 Skeeter FX20. If you got questions, send me an email at the following address at the end of this video, and I will get back with you. Due to work, the phone is uh, kind of limited right now, but you can try to give me a call. I'll list my number at the end of the video also. She's a beauty. She's been a good one. I just upgraded to a new 2016, so this one needs to go. Look at a little bit of the bottom.